What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the day of year function in the date and time functions collection. So day of year function allows you to pass in a timestamp uh, string, and then we will return to you the number of days since the start of the year to that date. Um, so I think this is particularly useful. So let's take a look. So I'm in Power Automate here. I've got a manual trigger flow and I have a compose action here. So I click into inputs uh, and go across to expressions. We can scroll down until we hit the date and time functions. Click on see more to expand them. And I can scroll down until we get to day of year timestamp. So, um, so day of year just has a single parameter, which is this timestamp parameter. And it says returns the day of the year component uh, of a string timestamp. So you just pass in a timestamp in the form of a string, and then it'll tell us the number of days from the start of the year till uh, that timestamp um, so that you can um, figure out how many days have passed or how many days we are into the year. So if we click on that, it goes into the expression editor. And then for uh, these, we'll just use UTC now um, as our timestamp. And we'll click OK. So at the time we're recording this video, it is the 11th of February 2020. Um, so we'll click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. Run the flow. Click done. And we can see it's output with the magic number 42. So I have been 42 days since the start of the year to uh, the 11th of February. So um, we have 31 days in January, and then add 11 days onto that, and we get to 42. So that's where that number comes from. Uh, we can obviously put in our own um, our own timestamp in here instead. So we can delete this out, and we can put in 2020-05-23. Uh, uh, for instance, um, and we can update that. Now, it is important to note, as I kind of put in here, this is a UTC style formatting required here. So it's going to interpret things in the UTC style. -y. So if you have um, an American or um, you know North American style format, which shows um, month, day, year, and not day, month, year, um, that's not going to work. So we actually need it in this year, month, day format, um, and then that will work. On test, uh, I'll perform the trigger action, save the test, run the flow, click done, and flow runs successfully. And we can see that that date uh, gives us 144 days. So this will be particularly useful uh, maybe if you want to measure the number of uh, days that have elapsed between two certain points. So you could have a formula that um, puts in uh, two timestamps. So, um, Timestamp number one is like maybe the start of the year, and timestamp number two is like maybe halfway through the year. And then you can have a formula that takes one from the other and outputs, say, the number of days that something has um, elapsed for. Uh, and this is whole number of days, so it could be particularly useful for, for things like working out, um, you know, various calculations, uh, SLAs, um, stuff like that. As always, I want to know what you guys use this for, so let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please like and please share it with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you next time.